Hello, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. Last month SpaceX attempted the first test flight of its Starship rocket and Super Heavy booster. On that day, the tremendous power of the rocket's 33 Raptor first stage engines led to a partial collapse of the launch pad and the formation of a crater beneath it. The next day, Elon Musk, the head of the company, announced that SpaceX was already working on a massive water-cooled steel plate that will be installed under the launch pad to prevent or minimize such damage in the future. This work began three months before the first test flight, but the system was not ready for launch on April 20. Now work on the steel plates for the launch pad is well underway. What's more, SpaceX recently tested the table plate for durability by exposing it to a single Raptor engine. On Friday, May 19, SpaceX tweeted on a 20-second video of the test. When the video ends, you can see that the table plate remain intact. SpaceX is now building several Starship rockets and expects to test launch again soon. Last week, the company rolled Ship 25, a new Starship prototype, onto suborbital pad at its starbase in South Texas. A static fine test of the Starship 25's six Raptor engines and the Super Heavy booster will soon be conducted before SpaceX can make a second attempt to reach orbit with its 120-meter rocket. But before SpaceX can launch, it will have to get permission from the local regulator again. Since the debris from the previous mission blew up and spread over a much larger area than expected, SpaceX will have to convince the regulator that launching a huge rocket does not endanger the lives of people and animals in the area. Space Daily News, like, share and subscribe.